Mr. Menyepint, would you accept the blue card, card for Mr. Coben? Oui. Allez-y, monsieur. Si. Thank you, Mr. Mourinho. Thank you, madam. Um, Mr. Mourinho, would you agree with me that the limiting of the freedom of speech and what people can say, no matter how appalling it may be, um, I would go to the barricades personally to defend the rights of no matter whom, communists, mm. fascists, anyone, to say what they want to say. Um, do you think that limiting the freedom of speech and then people in this parliament making decisions about what is correct and what is not correct and what is part of the European project and what's not part of the European project, do you not feel that this means the lights of liberty and freedom of speech are going out all over Europe? And this place cannot call itself the mother of European democracy. Mr. Marino Pinto. O infectivo defensor da liberdade. The uh, defense of freedom of speech is something that I've been doing for more than 50 years. First of all, I fought the fascist dictatorship in Portugal, and then I fought other attempts at limiting it. So, Mr. Coburn, that's why I agree with Montesquieu, or rather, sorry, Voltaire. Although I don't agree with anything you say, I'll fight with all my strength for you to be able to say it freely. Freedom of speech is the ultimate responsibility and the abuses that there may be in freedom of speech have to be fought against politically rather than through the courts.